Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied Energistics 2 tutorial and in this episode we will take a full look to the Energy Acceptor. And the Energy Acceptor is made by 4 Iron Ingots, 4 Gawards class and at least 1 Flux Crystal. And the Energy Acceptor um, converts energy from um, other mods to Applied Energistics Energy. That means um, normally you have... Um, you have Redstone Flux or you have Forge Energy and um, with the Energy Acceptor you are you are able to convert this energy. And um, if we take a look at uh, some machines in um, Applied Energetics will need this um, will need this energy. So if we take a look, um, the ME drive is isn't connecting to this cable. You can see if we place in a, a storage cell, um, our ME drive is offline and we have no um, energy stored in it. Okay, and we can also use the Crystal Growth Accelerator like this and um, use a cable because we need to um, we need to use the Crystal Growth Accelerators on the top side um, to connect um, our energy and you can see nothing happens. So that means um, we need to use our en energy acceptor. So we need to uh, connect it to our energy network. We need to, uh, we, now we are able to use a fl flux cable and our ME drive and we store in a storage cell and we can see that our ME drive has successfully get uh, some um, uh, some energy. Okay, very good. And uh, the next thing we need to take a look is that uh, the crystal growth accelerators and we can also connect these will still growth accelerators with some uh, AE energy like this. We need a cable and this cable also transfer data and um, and energy. So you can see um, we have some um, some, um, some bubbles around it and um, yeah we have stored in some energy. We are using some energy because we have an output um, of 64 forge energy here. And um, that's um, why you need a energy acceptor. Thank you for watching and bye.